I'm going to start. I don't do, normally do this on the tilt, but because the pleats are there, it's working. Ooh, look at it traveling into the yeah. center. And you, can you see, very deliberate, no splashing yeah. about yet. You take quite a long time to do this, don't you? I, you well, do it carefully. Yes. I think some people think that tray dyeing, it's quick, you know, it's fast, you don't have to pay a lot of attention. But with any wet process, you have to pay attention and be fairly deliberate about what you're doing if you're going to get the results that you're seeking. Can you see how just without touching this fabric at all, it's traveling and it's actually following, because I've got it tilted, it's following the pleats down the place. I, if I want it to move more, of course, I can tilt it this way and let gravity move it across. But when I'm working with great, big, enormous trays for yardage, I actually sit and can massage these colors down. But you don't have to massage no, the colors down. No, you don't. It's just a case of taste and experience. Yeah. I've done a, miles of tray dyeing. Yeah, and I guess it all de also depends on how separate you want your colors to be. Precisely, yeah. yes. So if you don't do a lot of massaging, you're going to have stronger bands or areas of color. If you do a lot of tilting and massaging, those colors are going to be more blended. So the choice is yours.